Hi, I'm James from X-Line and in today's video I'm going to introduce the new X-Tank range for 2015 by X-Line Systems. This system is available in three different water capacities, tank sizes, 350 litre, 500 litre and 750 litre. It's also uh, available in lots of different configurations so you can just have it just as a purely delivery unit only, so pump and controller. We're most commonly used with a static system where you can transfer the water into the van and use it as a, de a delivery unit. Or you can have it as a DI unit, uh, DI only, so for people with soft water areas, you can just run straight through DI, just situated at the back. Um, or for some people that just like to have a DI on the van just as an extra precaution, just to polish the water on the way out. Or you can go for a fully automated reverse osmosis system like this one here. Uh, this customer's bought his van to us to have uh, a system installed. He's gone for the 750 litre tank size, full reverse osmosis system. He's gone for the twin hose reels. We've got these little hose secures here, so when the doors are shut, it stops the hoses from uh, rocking around in the van. Easy to lift in and out. It's got external van ports on there, one for filling, one for the wastewater that's produced from the system, and, and two hose outlets, one for each wheel. He's gone for the controllers on the side door and uh, twin diaphragm for water delivery pumps. Also on the tank itself, you'll notice that there's some isolation valves. So you can isolate each pump there. So if you've got to do any maintenance on the system or anything like that, you can just isolate those off. Or if you do get any dripping, dripping ports, which is often the case, you can just isol isolate them so you don't get no dripping in the winter and things like that. You don't want no ice on the drive. It's gone for the 20 inch pre-filters. Which, is, uh, which are these two filters here. One's a, one's a sediment filter and one's a carbon filter. 40 inch uh, low pressure reverse osmosis membrane. And then at the back there, um, you can just see it through there. It's got a 11 litre DI vessel with quick release, uh, qu uh, the, quick, the new PV quick release lid, lid on there. This is, uh, this is where the magic happens. This is where the um, auto flush and fill is operated from. So again, like we said earlier, press a button does it all for you. Battery's actually mounted in the top cover there. All the pipe work pinned down. It's gone for four, four pole tubes, so you can quickly just slide the pole out, and back in, and away you go. There's a lot of key benefits to this system over uh, conventional systems available on the market. What you'll find is a lot of tanks are, are off the shelf purchase tanks with frames wrapped around them. Um, this tank's been completely designed solely for window cleaning. You can have, uh, what you'll notice is all the components are actually fixed to the actual tank itself. So, and it's also got through baffling um, located in different positions on the actual tank itself so that you don't get no water movement when you, when you, when you break in, you know, where your van normally rocks like a boat. You're not gonna get none of that. You, it's actually strapped through to the actual chassis itself through the actual uh, tank baffles, so the bulk of the water is actually fixed down, and if you don't get no movement there on the system whatsoever, it's completely solid. So whereas a tank in an actual frame, you do normally get a little bit of movement on the actual tank itself. <coughs> with this, uh, with this system uh, just available on the X tank is the auto flush mode as well, auto flush and fill, which is in this little box here. That's completely operated from the control box on the side. Now what that does is conventionally where you uh, most of the other systems on the market, you have to connect the connect the hose up, open the waste valve, let the water flush through for a, for a certain time period. Then you have to muck about closing the valve off, let the pressure rise, back the back the back the water pressure off so you get your product to waste ratio right every single time. It can be a pain. It's something that you don't want to do every day um, after work. And what you'll find a lot of people is they cut corners like that, and they can end up damaging the RO membrane. With this one, it's fully electronic, it does it all for you. So basically you connect the hose up to the van, you press a button, it, and then what that does is it gives, gives your filtration system the correct amount of flushing time for 15 minutes. It flushes, so it sends all the water down the drain, flushes the membrane, prolonging the life of that. What it then does is it automatically flicks into fill mode, starts filling the tank. So it'll fill the tank and every hour what it does is it stops, flushes the membrane for two minutes, and then starts filling again. Fills the tank to the top, Electronic, electronic float in the top, shuts off, shuts the valve off, no waste water, no product water, job done. So it's, it's simple. Um, so another couple of key features with this one, I'm just going to show you, just to show you the, uh, where you can mount the controllers while we're on the back end. So you can mount one controller here or here, 
you'll also notice in a minute that you can um, mount controllers on the side doors, so you can have what in whatever configuration you like. So if you if you like opening your side door and having the controllers there, or you're in a small van and you want to have them controllers on the back, or you want one on the left, one on the right, you can do all that. So as you'll notice, everything's all integrated in the back there. So the, the DR vessel is actually sat in the actual tank. That also helps with water movement in the actual tank, so you don't get no water movement sloshing left to right. That can be easily accessed by unscrewing your pre-filters. The, the battery on the actual tank uh, system itself is actually integrated in the actual top. So you just unscrew them, two 30mm bolts there and your battery's accessed. So everything's completely away, all the electronics are all hidden, um, com completely protected. Also another feature to this is the footprint of the van. Uh, the footprint of the system. What you'll find is it's only 1100, 1100 wide and 900 tall um, in millimetres and what that does is it gives, uh, it makes it a lot more compact it can fit in any vehicle. So we'll go around to the side and we're just going to start talking through some of the features. This way. So where you'll see is two more, two more controller mounting positions and uh, you've got the same on the, op on the opposite side which I'll, I'll show you in a minute, and that's where this customer has chosen to have his mounting, mounting, fit, mounting points on it for his controllers. Now, another key feature to this is the actual lid itself. Now, what you'll find on a lot of other tanks is the lid actually sits proud or it sits flat with the top of the tank. And in the window cleaning industry, you need to have a vent in the lid so that when you're drawing water from the actual tank itself, air can go through the actual uh, air intake on the, on the vent on the top of the lid. Now. What we've done with this is, is quite clever. We've lowered the actual lid, we've sunk it down so it's got like an anti splashback lid. So if you do get any water sloshing around, where I'm sure you've all had it where you have water running down the side of the tank, you won't get none of that with this. It, it just stays in there. So we'll go around to the other side now, start talking through the controllers. Well, in fact, what we'll do is we'll just talk through what's actually on the van itself. So you'll see the actual controllers here. This is customers another two more mounting positions there, so you can have the controllers on there. You'll also notice this black box here. Now that block black box is not normally there. It's only there if you go for the the diesel heater option, because this system needs more power to run. It's got an additional 110 amp battery in there, so it's got two 110 amp batteries. So that's in a box just just to basically accommodate the uh, the nine kilowatt heater. So this is the nine kilowatt heater. It's a diesel diesel powered unit. Um, running, running costs on this are around about 700 mil an hour. It's, a, it's the 9 kilowatt version for t uh, twin operators, so you can have one working hot, one working cold, two hot, two cold, whatever you like. Completely adjust the temperature on the top here by twisting these valves. The settings uh, uh, and, and the operation of this unit is all made from the actual box itself. Here we have the controllers. So going back to the uh, automated flush fill system side of things, is it's as simple as this. You walk up, connect the hose up to the back of the bumper, you press these two buttons here, and what you'll notice is it says fill. That's it. Now what that does is it starts to flush the filtration system for 15 minutes, maintaining the filters. After 15 minutes it will start to fill, it fills the tank. Now every hour what it does is it does a two minute flush cycle on the membrane. So it sends all the product to waste, uh, it sends, sends all the water to waste every hour for two minutes to flush the system. It starts filling again, stop until your tank fills up. Now when it gets to the top, it's got an electronic level switch. That kicks in, it shuts the product and the waste off. So it's as simple as that. Back to the heater, this is a, a nine kilowatt Wabasto unit. It's, um, it's, a tw it's for twin operators. It's available in two different models. It's available in 5 kilowatt or 9 kilowatt. Uh, the most popular one for a single operator is the 5 kilowatt. If you go for a twin operator, you'd go for the 9 kilowatt. The advantage is using hot water is basically on first cleans, um, it's a lot, lot quicker. It removes the grime, grime quick. Also, if you're working at high, so let's say if you're working five, five floors high with a 60 foot pole, um, what you'll find is you're completely relying on the brush and the pole to do the work. You can't physically put pressure on the, on the glass. So hot water cuts through the dirt easier, makes, makes life a lot easier. We will speed the process up and get those results first time. Also winter time, stops the water from freezing obviously in the, in the hoses, because obviously you're using small, small diameter hose, runs along the floor, long distances, freezes, you won't get none of that whatsoever. Also actually warms, 
it actually over, over the day warms the actual pole up, keeps your hands nice and warm. So, so that's the uh, the nine kilowatt heater. You can you can adjust the temperature on the, on this um, just by twisting the knobs at the top. So you can have one hot, one cold. You can have one person just working with with cold water, one person working with hot water, or or vice versa. So that's the that's the heater itself. Nice small small footprint. It's got an exhaust that goes through the floor underneath the van. Running costs around about 700 mil, uh, uh, 700 mil an hour. So it's really really low running cost. The actual uh, diesel integration is actually on this one is integrated to the vehicle fuel tank. So you've not got to muck about with it. Uh, additional auxiliary fuel tanks. It's just fed straight from, directly from the vehicle fuel tank.